Whoops. Sorry about that flash, guys. What is up? It's Annie here to bring you a review for uh, Attack on Titan Season 3, Episodes 1 and 2. Um, wow. These episodes were pretty dang good. And it's getting real intense real fast, ain't it? It's only been the first two episodes and we're already neck deep in trouble. Okay, um, here's a few questions, I, because I have a lot of questions. Because I'm a little bit confused on certain things. What does the race family have to do with anything of their situation? Okay, I understand that Historia is next successor to the family. And what does that mean? Does that mean she'll be the next leader for, um, the inside, for inside the walls? What is the race family in Attack on Titan? What does that family mean? Look guys, I'm already getting familiar with it. So if someone can explain that, yes, I am asking, what are they? Unless later on in this season they explain what they are, then don't tell me anything. Only tell me if it's something that I need to know already. Okay? Because I'm kind of confused as what does the what is the race family what's their involvement in literally levi squad situation why are levi squad basically fighting the military police what is going on here last episode it left off with them saving aaron from uh rainer and Bertol from that little situation they got they were able to save them historia and aaron and then they were going to head back why is it that the moment they got back, they ha they have to have these secret meetings? Excuse me. And apparently, their enemy is now humanity. Why? I thought the true enemy was the Titans. Why are they now having to deal with Titans and humans? Where, like, whose side are they fighting for right now? Is it really just like kill or be killed? And, and could it? And the only. Let me know, are they only being hunted because of A, they have Eren and Historia, or B, because they know too much? What exactly are they attacking them for, and why is Levi's group fighting back against them? I need to know these reasons, because right now, I'm a little bit confused. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on without it getting into spoilers but if, if it has to and uh, they're not really going to explain it later on then guys just fill me in just fill me in because i need to know these things that's why i decided to stop on episodes one and two because i feel like we're getting neck deep into certain things but i'm not truly understanding the situation i'm a little bit puzzled so if someone can help me out with this please let me know in the comment section below i would like to know these things because again I'm just a guy that came from watching the end, from seeing season one, the OVAs, and season two, all of those. I ha that's all. That's all the knowledge I know. So I need you guys to really fill me in here. What is going on? Why is Levi's group fighting human beings? Like, and why are why is now humanity part of part of the enemy alongside Titans? Like. I also need to know is the most important thing I want to know is what is the Raish family and why and what's their role in the situation Levi and the group is in. They're neck deep in deep in enemy territory. It just happens to be humans. I just need to know what does that family have to do with any of what's going on right now currently in the story. So once again, a little bit confused. I'd like I like I like for uh, people to fill me in on all the blanks here. That way, I have a better understanding before dipping in to the next few episodes, which is next week. So, if someone can tell me what I need to know, I greatly appreciate it. All right, then, guys. Um, what else? What else? I have to say, the animation in these two episodes were one of the top. Once, did you see those camera angles when Levi was like oh, weaving around these enemies and the way how he was using his maneuver gear to fight the humans? Yo, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty slick. I like that. That was pretty cool. So I do appreciate the the, the animation in the se this season so far. Looking hella nice. Another thing that's concerning is 
Why is Aaron having trouble morphing into his Titan form? He's not even going above 15 meters or whatever Levi said. And apparently, yeah, it, it even showed his body was lacking muscle mass in order to carry the weight, to carry, carry his weight around. So what I want to know is, why is he having trouble? What's going on? There's a lot of variables that need to be made that I'm not completely sure as to why things are going the way they are going. It sucks though that um, the people that were helping them got murdered pretty freaking bad. And it turns out some guy named Kenny, I, I, he looked familiar because yeah, he's the guy from the opening that I saw. He raised Levi, so I'm guessing it's because of him Levi is that strong. This is also food for thought. I just wanted to point this out there. Are Levi and Mikasa related? Because Le because Levi's full name is Levi Anchorman. And Mikasa's full name is Mikasa Anchorman. Can someone please fill in the blanks here? Like, why do they share the same na last name? Are they brother and sister? Or, like, the hell's going on here? Because cause, cause that I know. Because that guy just said it. And I know Mikasa's full name is Mikasa Anchorman. So, um, uh, can someone fill in the blanks? <laughs> There's a lot there's a lot of things on this episode that I felt like needed to be touched upon cuz I was more left with confused but at the same time intrigued more than anything else while I very much so enjoyed everything that was going on. It's like I'm here like knowing what happened last thing's going to be like all right, what's going to happen? At the end of these two episodes what the hell just happened? What? I'm confused. I like what I saw. But I'm confused. Someone help me out here. Please. But yeah, still. They were still very much so epic. Good animation. Yo, the animation is, um, once again, top tier. <laughs> Get it? Any tier? Top tier? Okay, that was stupid. But yeah, you get what I mean. Like, it was very well done and I was very much impressed with it. So yeah. If there's anything you want to talk about relating to these episodes themselves or filling me in what I need to know, please, please, please make them known in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it if you did that for me. Um, yeah, so, um, so yeah, uh, let's just get to the questions. I guess question number one, most important. Fill me in on the f fill me in on the questions I ask because I'm a little bit confused. I love once again. I love what I saw. I just. I need a better understanding for me to enjoy more of this. Okay? That's question number one. Please, prioritize question number one. Uh, question number two. Um, what, what could be good for question number two? Question number two. Um, let's see. Let's see. Question number two. Um, for you... If you were in an apocalyptic, apocalyptic situation, like what's going on right now, which is the enemies you would fear more? Whatever disaster is going on, whether it's zombies, titans, or whatever, or humans. For you, which is the most threatening to your life or to humanity, to anyone's lives? And explain to me why in the comment section below. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, Subbed if you haven't already really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guild mates And I'll definitely see you guys all in the next future reactions Which is actually in a little bit because I'm gonna react to the shield hero next that is gonna be no joke I tell you what I just don't want to see that stupid redheaded <laughs> All right, all right then guys peace